Greetings, beautiful creatures. My name is Angel Nightmare, and this is my f my roommate, Freeze. Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it's I, Freeze Cross, again. Yeah! We're back, bitches. This time, we're doing the first time tag. Mm, the first time tag. 20 questions. The first question is, what is your first tweet? That's a good motherfucking question because I really never used Twitter like that. I think my first tweet was something like, um, hey guys, I got Twitter. I don't remember what mine is, but if, I, if I'm if not lazy enough during the editing process, I'll just pop that bitch right there. So, yeah. Uh, second question is, first YouTube video. Now, is that the first video that you saw or the first video you made? I really don't know. Let's, let's say the first video we made. Okay, uh, the first YouTube video I made, I think it was a, I think I was doing a Screamo cover to a song years ago, years ago. We now don't even go into that or what band <laughs> that was for, but yeah, it was a, I'm pretty sure it was a Screamo song. See, my very first YouTube video was on my old channel that is no longer existent. It was like really, really silly. It was like pretty much explaining like what my day to day life was. And I think mm -hmm. I was like 17 and it was like, what I do? And it was like showing me like, like, oh, sometimes I play video games and it was like jump cutting to me, like doing crazy shit with the Wii remotes. And then I had like the 8 bit music playing. And then it would just mm -hmm. show me like, oh, it was really, it was really like, it would probably be on one of those like cringe compilations if you. <laughs> If you saw the shit, because, like, <laughs> there was, like, a lot of, like, I don't even want to go through it. It was fucking embarrassing. But, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you're a teenager, you fuck up a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Question number three is, first person you subscribe to on YouTube. He was a makeup artist. His name was Josh, but his YouTube name was Petrie Lude something, something. Oh, I love him. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and he stopped making videos. Um, yeah. yeah, he stopped making videos, I think, a few years ago. But I used to love, love his makeup tutorials. Like, his yeah. shit was always so on point. Yeah, Petrie Lou. I think the very first channel that, like, prompted me to subscribe to them and, like, actually use my YouTube channel to, like, just to be on YouTube was Vsauce. And mm, yeah, Vsauce. that channel, that, it's like, there's so much thought and philosophy that goes into every little subject and it's so inspiring so yeah that that was probably the first channel question number four first facebook profile pic oh i already know my face my first facebook profile pic i know i was probably looking a mess you still got the because picture? it was oh god hope not no, I I'm hope I don't. It. No, I'm find it. Uh, I know I was looking a mess because it was in my high school days and I was in like my transitioning phase. From you still like, got MySpace? No, I don't have MySpace oh, no more. Gosh. No, I don't think. What the hell is MySpace? <laughs> um, find that picture. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think I just had this like fro. I may be able to find it. I may be able to find it. Maybe. If he finds it, we're going to put it right here. But yes. if he doesn't find it, I got another picture from him from five years ago. I'm going to put the shit right here. <laughs> bah, right there. Don't put it up if I'm looking crazy. <laughs> no, it was cute. You looked oh, like okay. a baby. It was so adorable. Okay. It was only five years ago. We were like 22. What was I? Yeah, something yeah, like that. 21, 22. Yeah. Um, I was 2,000 five years ago. My first profile picture. Actually, don't have the very first one. I deleted it a long time ago because I had like this fake gun and it was like one of those emo things i deleted that shit but um the one that's up now was like i was 16 or 17 ish no i was 17 because i had the jerry curl yeah you'll see Ooh, like the um jerry curl okay i still have my little angel bites and i was doing a little little scene picture pose with the cameras like uh, like you know it was like all oh, my space days 2000 mm -hmm. 2008 2009 those are those mm, are the times some shameful days <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was yeah. some shameful, shameful times. Mm. Question number five. Do you still talk to your first love? No, what the fuck kind of question is that? I don't think I've ever been in love. Hell no. <laughs> what the fuck kind of question? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's some bullshit. Okay. <laughs> what was your first alcoholic drink? The very, very first alcoholic drink I had, I know. I was... Um, younger, you know, I know my mom was sipping on some type of like wine or something and it probably was, um, damn, what was that shit we just bought recently? 
Like a wine cooler? Yeah, but like it was... Like the fucking... Um, the blowjobs? The B&J? <laughs> Okay, I, don't know what, I don't know what it is. It's like three dollars, you know. The Ziffendale, is that it? Are you talking about Arbor Mist? Arbor Mist, yes. Oh, yes, yes. I thought you were talking about yes, the wine coolers. Yeah. No, 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 it was Arbor Mist. Yeah, and my mom had some, and I was like, oh, then I want to taste. And you know, she gave me the taste of Arbor Mist. Oh, yeah, and that was See, my very first. My very time. first alcohol experience wasn't that wasn't as glamorous as yours. <laughs> like literally, it was like when my mom. Was with this one guy, like, that he got a house with, like, was, like, my stepdad or whatever. They never got married, so I guess it wasn't really my stepdad. They used to, like, drink a party all the time, so, like, I was like, hey, you guys are always drinking, like, all this, like, delicious-ass shit. Like, what is this? I want to try this. And I was, like, six, seven? Maybe I was seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, oh, no, you don't want to try this ever. Don't do this ever. And I'm like, well, that's hypocritical. Like, one of my mom's friends, like, he was, like, a close family friend, he gave me a bottle cap full of gin. It was the Seagram's gin. Also, not sponsored. Oh. And he was like, here, taste this shit. You taste this shit, you never gonna drink Amazing. ever in your life. And he's like, this will be good for you. I'm like, all right. And then had the shit, and it's like, burning, and then it was like, and I, like, just literally never ran so fast to the bathroom to go brush my teeth in my entire life. Like, I was just like, Ugh. I was, like, brushing the shit out of it. And it was nasty. But mm-hmm. I love gin now. Like, I'm just drinking alcohol well, drinks left know, and right. Like, right. <laughs> prepared you for the future. <laughs> prepared me. But that back then, that shit, I was, I was not ready for that shit back then. That shit was disgusting. Yeah, I still don't fuck with gin to this that day. Uh-uh. Oh, God. Whose question is it now? Oh, oh. it's my turn. Right. Yep, your turn. All right. Question number seven. What was your first job? My first job was working for a telemarketing company at this company that my dad used to work for, and it was fucking horrible. Like, it, it's... I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I know, right? My <laughs> first job was at... um, It was in St. Louis at the St. Louis Arch, if you all know what that is, um, which went terribly wrong for me because one i really had really really bad social anxiety back when i was like 18 just got out of high school and two i hate heights so <laughs> <laughs> so i was dealing with two things that i hated being around lots of people tourists and being like 2,000 feet up in the air so yeah <laughs> they, and i only worked the job for like a week or so and then i quit Took that lunch break. He's still on it. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> and I, yep, and I didn't call enough. Stop coming in. What was your first car? My first car was a bootleg as 1989 Pontiac. This oh. motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you. No, let me tell. I'm gonna tell you about this fucking Pontiac. Okay, <laughs> it was a white Pontiac, and I got it in. I got it from this um, car. He was our, he was a mechanic of like the family. Like my family had been to him for like like twenty years or so. And I was eighteen, just had enough money to get a car. And I went to his car dealership in the hood, and he was showing me the stuff. And he was like, "Oh, you know, I got this '89 uh, white Pontiac, and it was all white." But I'm gonna tell you about the windows. The windows were so fucking tinted, you could not see in it. And come to find out, they actually were illegal. The amount of tint in the windows was illegal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was either it was either a drug dealer's car or a vampire's car. One of the two. <laughs> really, you could not see in it. I got pulled over in that motherfucker for the windows being too dark. I mean, like, you literally, it was like fucking nighttime in there. This car was a fucking wreck. The tires was, <laughs> the tires was fucked up. The, it didn't have no radio. It didn't have no air conditioning. It didn't have no heat. <laughs> it was the worst fucking car. And yeah, that was my, that was mine. My first car mine. didn't have a radio or air conditioner in it either. I was 17 years old. Um, when I had my, and I didn't have it for too long. It was a 95 Camaro and oh, it was the so. coupe, like the two door. And had like the fucking what do you call the shit with the T where you can take oh, yeah, the yeah, you windows take the, out yeah, the at the window. top. Mm-hmm. That shit's stupid as fuck. Who thought of that idea? But anyway, um, <laughs> um, it was that was awful. Um, it transmission went out on it like mm-hmm. not transmission even went out of mine too. Six months after I got it, and then my mom gave me her two thousand Pontiac Grand Prix, which was also white. But, mm-hmm. yeah, my first car was a 95 Camaro. It was a piece of shit. And you know what? That's funny that your mom gave you your car because the way I got my second car, my aunt, this is the funniest thing to me, my aunt, won, she had uh, entered in a um, raffle, you know, mm-hmm. and she won a new 
Um, fuck, what's the name of the car? The small ass car. You know, um, uh, a smart car? No, 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 a smart car. Uh, PT Cruiser. Oh, she had won a new PT Cruiser from the church raffle on Halloween night. <laughs> wow, I know, right? And then she gave me her old car, and yeah, that was my that was my <laughs> baby for a minute. Question number nine: Who was the first person to text you today? Um, that's a good question. Honestly, let I'm me look. Check. Let me look, cause Test. I. Oh, I got missed calls. Okay. Actually, the first person to text me was my friend Marquise, who, um, who hasn't texted me in a long ass time. He texted me a um, a little picture of Rihanna hugging somebody, saying hello. The first person to text me today was my friend Amber. But I think you read that oh, one. Oh wait. Oh, that's right. I mean, I think I read that one. So did you, are you sure? I think I read that one. No, I read that. I know one. you did read that one. Yeah, that's right. I had to turn off airplane mode because the whole shit. All right, whole thing that fucked up. Yeah, the whole shit fucked up. Question number ten: Who was the first person you thought of this morning? The first person I thought of this morning was actually somebody I'm avoiding. That I'm not gonna say this person's name because obviously then they'll know I was avoiding them. <laughs> so- <laughs> Plot twist: It's me. First person I thought of when I woke up this morning was who was fucking thinking about anybody. I don't think about anybody. It was coffee. <laughs> I don't think about nobody. No, that's, yeah, that's probably what it was. Coffee. Okay, coffee. It was me getting coffee into my system. I had a really bad headache when I woke up this morning, so I was not having life in general. Mm. Maybe it's because you was up all damn night keeping me up laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> Look, okay. you know I don't sleep. All right. Why is I'm st- why am I still getting messages on airplane mode? Like what kind of shit? All right. Oh, what? No, no, that's not right. Yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah. that's some that works me shit. Who was your first teacher? I do remember my first teacher. I just don't remember her name, but I remember her face vividly. She was um, a very nice black woman, and I know she had an African last name. She had these long dreadlocks, and she was um, it's my kindergarten teacher. Um, I just don't remember her last name for the life. Plot twist, it's me. I think my first teacher that I actually remember, I think her name was Miss McMahon. And she was like a really creative, really down to earth kind of teacher. Like just really enjoy, like, you know how like some people like enjoy life too much. Like they, they look mm-hmm. at rocks and they're like, man, those are some beautiful ass. Like she was one of those types of people. And she was kind of like gave me like hope. Mm-hmm. Oh and, like, yeah, the world people. and humanity because mm-hmm. like everybody else is just so negative and full of themselves. But she was like always so happy and like just so friendly to everybody that's why that's why i remember that i was like mm. six years old she was first grade teacher no, obviously not my first teacher but obviously the first one that i remember where did you go on your first ride on an airplane uh, my first ride on an airplane was to visit my family in houston texas um i think i was like seven or eight i thought it was like so fucking amazing that i was going on this plane and i thought going to texas was gonna be like going to New York City, which it was not. Because uh, I well, Houston's awesome though. Yeah, but you know how I feel about the South. <laughs> even even then, even then, you you also know how I feel about the South. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it uh, wasn't New York City at all. But you know, I still have fun if I'm if I believe correct. Houston actually has a really big golf scene down there. Like they got a lot of clubs. Do they? Really? I thought they only have one, the church. I thought. Oh, they, that's like that's like one major club. They got like a lot of industrial clubs, oh, okay. like you know, like underground places and stuff. But, mm. um, but you know, I do not do the same. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to the su- southern tours. Okay. Donate to our Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> All southern states going to Kentucky, <laughs> Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> mm, you, no, you going on that tour alone. <laughs> <laughs> I got on two different socks. I just realized that. And I've never ridden an airplane know. before. Really? Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Who was your first best friend, and do you still talk? We already answered this question. Yes, we have already answered this. Like I said in my in the other video we did, getting to know me tag, my first ba- best friend was this badass boy at the end of the block named Robert. Um, no, we do not talk anymore. Like I said, Robert, you know grew up and became a father and i became this and we just drifted apart so yeah same if you want to know my shit watch the get to know me tag which will post a shit right here on the shit and then we'll also post some shit in the little description shit below where was your first sleepover um i actually remember this quite vividly okay i was a real mama's boy growing up so my first sleepover was at my cousin's house who lived just like right across the river in Illinois. 
and it's only like 30 minutes away and i was like six or seven and then like i basically had like the equivalent of like i guess a panic attack for like a six-year-old when i realized that i was gonna have to spend the whole night away from my mom (laughs) oh man (laughs) so i think that i had an asthma attack because and i was like oh if i think i had this asthma attack you know like maybe they'll take me back home and i was like oh i can't breathe i can't breathe (laughs) and uh, it worked and yeah my mom came and got me and i was like oh that's good got out of that that right right. it was like a real it was like a real existential crisis i swear Like, before it started, my, you know, my cousins, we were playing, so I'm like, yo, yeah, we're gonna go have fun, go spend the night, yeah, yeah. And then I get there, and it was just like this, like, doom just came over me, like, like, oh my god, I'm with my mom, what the fuck? My first sleepover, I believe, was with my cousins also. We had fun, we played Super Nintendo all night, this shit was great. Mm, so, uh, I used to, so much, much better than mine. See, like growing up, I didn't have cable or like video game consoles. Like when I was like really, really young. But when I was really young, all I had was like toys and like mm. fucking a Your VHS player with like the same Ooh. three DVD or VHSs that I watch over and over again. Lion so when King. I, whenever like it was like, hey, you want to go over your cousin's house or you want to spend out your friend's house? I was like, fuck yeah, oh, yeah right? <laughs> well, because like everybody had like oh, the, the Super shit. Nintendo and like the N sixty four and shit, and then like. I was always like wanting to go, and they all had cable. And I was like Cartoon Network, like a dose right. all that stuff. I was like, yes. Oh yes, you was trying to get the hell. I out. I was trying to get the hell out. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah. So what was the next? Okay, next question is, what was the first thing you do in? Wait, what? Is, what was the first thing you do in the morning? Like what? Does that mean like what? Past tense, they mean like what, what I used is to do, is or the like, first thing you do in the morning. Maybe? I think that's what they I mean. I think they mean what is the yeah, first we're gonna, thing you do. In we're the gonna change that shit. What yeah. is the first thing you do in the morning? And for me, as you guys know, it is get coffee. <laughs> like I wake up and I'm just like tunnel vision to like the kitchen, and all I see is like the coffee pot and then the shit with the filters, and then the shit. That's all I see, and then I just put the shit. The first thing. Well, the first thing I do, like so many modern people is i grab my phone and get online Fuck the phone i read like <laughs> oh. the news and see what crazy bullshit that happened while i was sleeping and i get on facebook and you know check all that bullshit so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the phone is the first thing and um the day gets started after that day doesn't get started till coffee fuck the phone fuck everything <laughs> is not my turn it's your turn uh what was the first concert you ever went to uh Another great story. The first concert I ever went to was AFI in oh, wow. 2007 for their album release of December Underground. Uh, and this is when they, right after they did their video for Miss Murder. I used to be a huge, huge, huge AFI fan, obsessed with them. And when I got to see them, it was just like, you know, 17 year old seeing their idol for the first time. It was magical. That would have been great. Magical. My first concert was a local show it was like i thought was that 15 was that like 2006 2007 2006 or some somewhere in that little mm-hmm. shit it was when i was uh kind of breaking out of my shell because like when i was in high school like freshman year and like half of my sophomore year i didn't talk to anybody and then i kind of started like becoming more social so there was like a like a little local venue called the seven venue like like really mm-hmm. literally right around the corner of my house like i used to walk to it all the time um and it was like a local show because like all my friends were like you should go like i was like all right whatever i'll go i show up and it was uh, i think the band i don't know these bands are all broken up now i think one was called dead in dallas and one mm-hmm. was called anne boleyn or anne boleyn or- oh anne boleyn yeah no, i, don't think it was, I no, remember them i don't think it was it might have been anne boleyn i might have been i don't know oh, if okay. it was anne boleyn or anne boleyn i don't know it well, was there is an like anne boleyn i do know that okay so. well yeah it was like kind of like a post hardcore scene like what was popular back in the day like the little mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like screamy singy stuff like that was really generic that stuff <laughs> hey it was the shit back in the day yes in the day you had fun with it i really didn't care for music like that too much i was a i was a grindcore sludge mm. slam guy in high oh, school okay. and i was like one of the elitist metal heads like oh, oh <laughs> i was yes. like i was like oh that's fucking not real metal. Right. Like, I was one of those guys in high school. I was like, it's this isn't fucking metal. Cannibal Corpse or fucking... Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was I was that guy. All right, next question. First, Broken Bone. 
I've never broken a bone, so... I've also never broken a bone. You know, I don't leave the house yet. Exactly, right, yeah. right. <laughs> you just don't break shit when you don't leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> and I was never the type of kid to be jumping off shit or nothing, so... I was, but I've never but broken you, bones. you landed on your feet, yes, so... Yes, I okay. okay. Snap both my ankles. All right, no, I'm just kidding. First piercing... My first piercing was oh do you go no okay well okay. my first piercing was um right here on my lip when I was like eighteen yeah my, aside from my ears that I got when I was eleven my first piercing was this little guy right here I did myself when I was fifteen with a safety pin I would never recommend ever doing mm-hmm. that ever mm-hmm. and it's a bad idea mm-hmm. children mm-hmm. don't do that shit go to a shop fuck around see I could lose my whole lip my whole YouTube career would be gone just how how like some shit like. Hey, but that might work for you though, and go in the area that you in, you know. That will probably work for you. I don't think so. I can do some horror shit. Yeah, so I think you. I think it will work. Yeah, for you maybe probably. I don't know. First foreign country you've gone to? Uh, we went through this also last time in the getting to know me tag. Uh, I haven't been to a foreign country, and like I said in the last video, you know, if you want to see me, buy me a ticket somewhere, you know, outside of the USA, and I'll come see you. Yes, same. Yes. Also, my answer is also in the get to know me tag, which will be right here on yes. the shit or down there in the shit. So, watch this shit. First movie you remember seeing, I actually do remember this quite vividly. It was Mortal Kombat. I think the year was 1994. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I do. I think the year was 1994. It was Mortal Kombat. The mm-hmm. first movie that I remember watching. And I was five years old at the time. Hunchback, no trick. It was one of those three VHSs I had. Like, oh, <laughs> that she was rewatching well, over and over. Okay. I broke the hell out of that. I watched it so much, the shit broke. Like, it didn't work anymore. Same for James, James and the Giant yeah, Peach. I used to oh, love yeah. that movie. That shit. That, that movie used to be my shit. When was your first detention? Okay, I hated school because I hated the kids. So. <laughs> my, I feel it. Yeah, so. I, feel it. I actually got detention for missing school because I used to skip class a lot and go do other shit. I don't remember exactly when my first detention was, but it was it was definitely when I was in elementary school because I would have like these like like angry outbursts where mm. I would literally like throw temper tantrums and like flip mm. shit off of the desk and like freaking scream at the teacher's face. It was like like I, I it's just kids yeah. fucking piss me off, man, mm-hmm. and then fucking. Like, people pissed me off, like, at a very young age. But, um, yeah, I I used to get, like, detention a lot, actually, for doing that very thing. Hmm. All the way up into middle school. (laughs) Oh, okay. Yeah. (laughs) Then I just stopped talking to people. (laughs) All in general. Just stopped listening. I just fucking live in my own world. Who was your first roommate? My first roommate was one of my best, best, best friends, whose name is Chelsea, and I love her to death. And we got our first apartment together, and yeah, she's my first roommate back in 2011, I believe it was. Yeah. My first roommate was my homeboy, Michael. He's been on this channel before. I'm going to fucking put his face in the shit right here and then i'm also going to link that video in the description to where he appeared he appears in a couple of videos here i think two or three maybe i don't know i'll link the videos that michael's in in here but when i got when i graduated high school we both went to the same school and then i was dealing with a lot of shit to where i was living in my car and then his family let me move in for a short period of time to help me with school and stuff so yeah that was my first roommate 17 years old, right out of high school. What is the first thing you do when you get home? Uh, the first thing I do is strip. I just take off everything. Same. Yeah, except my boxers, but I just strip my clothes, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, like usually when people, like, get off work and stuff, they go home, oh, I'm so drained, I don't want to do anything. Like, I get excited. It's like, like, I'll be tired all day at work, and I'll just, like, drag myself all the way to the door, and as soon as I just yeah. walk into the, like, living room, just fucking see all of the shit, I'll be like, I home and like i literally right. just take off all of my clothes and hit cartwheels start dancing <laughs> butt naked to techno music like i get excited i just get energized oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. record that one day <laughs> butt ass naked <laughs> get excited so we'll put that on xtube and not youtube oh yeah we'll be on xtube <laughs> check us <laughs> xtube.com slash angel nightmare <laughs> right. y'all gonna have to pay for that subscription, <laughs> subscription only though
<laughs> oh um, man, <clears throat> is it my turn? I don't even remember. No, anymore. I think it's my turn. We got two questions. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Twenty four. When was your first kiss? Oh yeah, I was sixteen. Yeah, my first kiss when I was sixteen. Yeah. My first kiss, I was seven years old, first grade. It was with some girl named Farah. It was in the playground. It was mm-hmm. like a little innocent elementary school mm-hmm. shit. It was one of those little shits. Um, <clears throat> and the last question is... Last question. Who did you watch first on YouTube? Wasn't this question like similar? No, it said who you first subscribed to. Who do you first watch? Okay, so I guess it is different because... Okay. F- when, when, when did we first... Like YouTube first became a thing around high school for me. Who and did I first watch... Hmm. What was this? It was like a lot of like funny ass videos yeah, that went viral back funny then. Funny videos. But um, I, shit, I can't even remember. Kind of think. Uh, who were some of the like the the fucking YouTubers that we like first watched? Like, like I remember Fred. I used to was, hate Fred. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I remember what I remember him, but you know he was a mess. Um, Shane, I know was on. Yeah, there. Shane Dawson was one of the first ones, but and then uh, who was the other guy? And then I feel like I'm missing a girl who was one of the first ones too. Um, shit, I don't know. Yeah, I remember Shane Dawson was uh, Shane Dawson was one of the first ones. Uh, I can't remember who, but I know definitely it was the same shit everybody else was watching. Yeah, Funny it videos, was like yeah. videos about you know dogs, cats Cat doing videos. funny shit. Yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Um, and I'm, my memory's coming back. Like I'm unlocking like shit from high school. All right, um, Mike Diva. Um, I'm still subscribed to him, like, today. Like, I mean, I wasn't subscribed to him back in the day. I just kind of watched his shit. But he did, like, a, like, a, or, like, his own version of his music video to Mindless Self Indulgent Straight the Video. And, like, ever since then, like, he started doing, like, crazier and cra- crazier video editing stuff. And, like, now he does stuff for, like, like, other YouTube channels and, like, for artists with music videos. And he does, like, this crazy stuff. Like, you should check out his channel. But that was one of the, like, first, like, YouTubers I've seen, like, when I was... Like when mm-hmm. they first started getting on YouTube was Mike Diva, who lives here. In LA. Of course, surprisingly, because fucking all the cool people live here in yeah. LA. <laughs> but yeah, that was the that was my first time. Question tag thing, yes. and twenty five questions, not twenty shit twenty earlier, but it was twenty five. Um, yeah, uh, if if you guys want to answer these questions. They will be in the description below as well. And uh, also, if you have any questions, be sure to post in the comments any advice or any suggestions for videos that we should do in the future. Also, just put, that, put it in the comments and do some shit. We might do some cartwheels down the street of Hollywood or something. I don't know. Um, let's... I uh, get you anything to say to them? Um, do I have anything to say? Hmm. Always wrap it up, you know. Always wrap it up. That's what I'm gonna say. It's definitely. You don't want. You don't want no unexpected children. Um, you don't want any unexpected visits to the doctor, especially like you young people out there. You know, it's a lot going around. Be safe. You know. This shit got real. <laughs> this shit got, too, this know, shit be, got be, so real. Be, be he's, safe. He's be, dead serious. Be, be safe. Be, be, be safe. Always wrap this. Be safe, baby. Alright, we're gonna disappear. Yes.